Philippines. Just the biggest load of nonsense yet. Help me. Speak to them for me. Speak! Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. Are you ready to talk, boy? <laughs> I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I've just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, no you're kidding me, right? A court. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. But you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, but I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You gotta pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Colm? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right. Hello. I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like God damn. You smell like one too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan! You got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might. I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so, but I fear you don't know how to help anyone, except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll, if this is how he treats his friends, 
Imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. And now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Okay, now now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them doing? out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Ha! Whoa! Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop. Now, come on! It'd be suicide! You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey! There, there, you see? Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, It'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Shh. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay, go to work. <clears throat> Chance of ages. I'll be stood guard duty. Down. Don't you damn move. Guns in the camp! Yes, 
they know we're here. Let's get them. It's on. We move quick. We move hard. Oh, ah! We catch you on a way. I'll check. You look out here. You all right? Sure. Thank you. Como Driscoll. Set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I sw I, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't <laughs> have saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you... Como just was gonna lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. And right you are.
At least you got something tucked away. Can I help you with your horse? We've got room in the stable if you need it. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Please. If I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. Ah. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. 
Then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient Everything to head right into on. Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! <clears throat> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Okay, boy. Uh, 
I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Hey, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Mike has got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we were doing, but he was... Wait for me! We should stick together, Arthur. So, you were saying? You're going the wrong way! You worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Micah. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Oh! Even. Here we are. Just what is your deal? Just one or two. Right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You! I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy I stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullard! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. You know what? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> hey, why ain't you never married? No one will have me. That's the thing, you see, because it... Lenny? Lenny! Get away from Watch me! It. Yeah! Whoa, slippery little right. shit, ain't you? Yeah. Oh, come on! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Come here, boy! Come here! Lenny! Leave the kid alone, you goddamn animals! Well, who do you think you're talking to? Nobody! I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. You got the wrong fella. <laughs> Found you, Lenny. <laughs> Lenny, what are you talking about? Lenny, my boy. Huh? Damn it, Lenny! Stop slumping off on me. Just go home, will you? Arthur! Arthur, what are you doing? Cheers. Not you again? No. You drunken fool! I said stop! I'm an American! Well... Again.
Swanson, you hear me? Come on. What's the hole? Hey, on? mister. Play your damn hand. You idiot. Play it. All right. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. The people. Uh, I'll see you. Good. Gonna start small here. Okay. Okay. And another check. Why don't that surprise me? Garbage. Good. Here we go. No, I don't think so. Check. All in. Damn it. There we go. Mmm, nice. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend!
Baron Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, <laughs> smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Swanson! Hey! Calm down! Hey! What the hell did Get you your hands hey, off him! I didn't say a word! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's with me! You bastard! You're a damn fool! Okay, then. I'll kill you both! Don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell a soul. I promise. Lip sealed now. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! You crazy? Come on, my friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Help! Get it! Come on! Thank you, uh, sir. Uh, oh, no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that. There was your goddamn train, you crazy bastard. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? What? Please. 
when he'd show up. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky. This time. Real lucky. Mr. Morgan. Hey. You okay, Abigail? Settling in. Good. I'm fine, Arthur. Don't make it weird. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. No, oh, I don't know.
of sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I h hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little uh, demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't know. I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub. The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Oh, I remember that. We're on the path. You've rescued me from the depths! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. <laughs> All right. I'll keep that in mind. 